What's up, Navigation Traders? Today is December 18th on a Wednesday. Welcome to today's Trade Hacker Update. Another day, feels like Groundhog Day. The markets did almost nothing today, ended up pretty flat, just grinding sideways. Uh, I'm not sure if they're kind of waiting for some more information to come out about the whole impeachment proceedings or if they're just taking a pause, taking a breather. But either way, pretty boring trading. So what did we do today? A couple things. One, uh, FedEx had their earnings announcement. I mentioned that and they dropped down. So on the earnings duck, we're still in that and still have a chance at a good profit if we get a little bit of a bounce higher. After the announcement, because it went down so much, implied volatility stayed bid for a while. In fact, it was up closer to around here earlier today, and then it contracted even more later in the day. So what we did is we went ahead and entered an iron duck here. So price is way up here. So we've got this big downside buffer for price to potentially move in there. If price rips higher, we still make a little bit of money. If it moves lower, we've got a chance at a max profit. So that's where we're at in FedEx. The other thing we did is we sold some premium in bonds. If we take a look at TLT, the ETF, you can see here, it's one of the only symbols that has some still decent implied volatility. IV percentile up around the 53 range. So we sold some premium in there to take advantage. Really the only other thing besides upcoming earnings plays is Natty Gas that has a decent implied volatility. So those are the symbols we are left with. And then lastly, I wanted to touch on Tesla. Tesla has been on absolute fire lately. You can see since the beginning of October, I mean, the market's grinded higher, but Tesla has absolutely exploded higher. And so if we take a look at that, in fact, let me do this. I want to move to a, I want to, I want to look back over a longer period of time. This is a five-year chart. So you can see, you know, really since the beginning of 2017, end of 2016, Tesla's really been in this range from 220 up to 400. Now it's coming to that height again. It hit new highs again today. And I'm really looking for Tesla to break out. I mean, I think it's I think it's going to break out and, and head up to 600. So looks like a potential buying opportunity. You know, this is definitely not a contrarian move. A contrarian would be looking to sell here. Uh, I disagree with that. I think, I think Tesla is going to continue to be on fire. So I'm looking to be a buyer on any dips. So any, any kind of pullbacks, I would look to be a buyer for some continuation to the upside. So that's what we're looking at in Tesla. And uh, that's about it. So MU announced after the bell today. We did not put on an earnings play in MU, but let's see what it did. So it's up a little over a buck. So not much movement. And so we didn't do anything there. So we'll see how that ends up tomorrow. If implied volatility is still decent, maybe look at a potential play, but being as low as it was, got a little bit of a spike today, but not really looking for anything uh, there tomorrow because I assume implied volatility is going to contract and then we will see what happens. So that's all we got. Hope everybody has a great evening. Talk to you tomorrow.